Hey guys, welcome back to News to the Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. Today we've got some news about the new Loki series. I'll explain everything that's going on. If you're new to my channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. I upload videos usually on a daily and do live streams four days a week, so be sure to do that. Anyways, so let's talk about the new Loki Disney Plus series that's coming. Loki showrunner says, expect the unexpected from the upcoming TV series that recently launched a landing page for Loki and a few other upcoming Marvel Studios shows. The series description notes that Tom Hiddleston's Loki will resume his role as the God of Mischief after the events of the Avengers Endgame. Beyond that, it didn't share many details about the show. Regardless, showrunner Michael Waldron feels that it was entirely appropriate for Loki. Via Coming Soon, Waldron recently shared his response to the fairly sparse Loki landing page. We have a landing page on Disney+, Plus, said Waldron, and an old trailer, but I like the green nebula. It indicates that this is a science fiction sci-fi show. You know they say about sci-fi. Expect the unexpected when it comes to science fiction. Gugu M. Batharaw will also co-star in the series alongside Hiddleston. However, very few details about... Raw's character or the show's story have been revealed. The previously released Loki teaser seemed to indicate that he was imprisoned by the Time Variance Authority. In Marvel's comics, the TVA polices the multiverse, but Loki promised to burn the organization to the ground for crossing him. Loki will premiere on Disney Plus in early 2021. So, to me, it's really no surprise that this show will fall under the science fiction categories. It's fair to say that most of it, if not all of the Marvel movies, can easily be placed in that category. The series is already going to be a space-based series. As for the Time Variance Authority, if you're not familiar with them, I can give you a brief background and history of this time police force. Because that's what they are. They're basically the police that monitors any variances or issues involving time or any tampering with the multiverse. That's Marvel Studios' next big thing, multiverse exploration. So, a brief history of the Time Variance Authority. The Time Variance Authority is an infinitely vast bureaucracy that governs a significant number of realities in every growing multiverse, which has dedicated itself to keeping tabs on every reality that exists. It controls a temporal dominion, which is approximately two or three times as large as Kang's temporal empire. All employees are born and bred specifically to complete their functions. Every employee in the TVA has lifetime employment. It is an organization of faceless bureaucrats. Most TVA employees are cloned from the same genetic stock to reduce disputes and improve efficiency. However, they do recruit new promising candidates such as Justice Peace. I believe that the Justice Peace character is going to be played by Owen Wilson. First off, he looks like him in the comics. Secondly, if you've even seen Owen Wilson in any film. He always plays a fun character and he has a very likable screen presence. I'm sure that the showrunners might tweak the Justice character just to make him likable and fun because in the comics he's a rather serious character. So here's a quick glimpse of the set of the Loki series. We have here Loki what appears to be him wearing an outfit that supposedly would imply that he is working along with the time variance authority and then the group of soldiers here who basically are wearing the same uniform are the time variance authority a little different from the comics i mean the time variance authority tend to have a little bit more color and a little bit more flair um not exactly a direct representation or an incarnation uh adaptation of the comic book series but then again this is basically what is to be expected from the upcoming Loki series. So it's going to be fun to see Loki interacting with a Time Variance Authority. I'm actually wondering what comics are they, they're going to be borrowing from because the Time Variance Authority has made its appearances uh, in several comic books. Um, it, they've had several run-ins with characters such as Thor, Loki, and Kang the Conqueror, like I mentioned earlier before, and various other characters that tend to like manipulate or tamper with the multiverse. So um, I'm pretty excited to see this, and I wonder what kind of a role Loki will be playing in the series, and what part he will have in the Time Variance Authority. Uh, will he be doing this as a, let's say, a um, community service kind of thing, where Loki joins uh, the Time Variance Authority and has to perform certain duties in order to, I guess, redeem himself or to pay for his crimes, which is basically Loki taking the Tesseract and manipulating time like that by jumping into different timelines. If you all recall, back in Avengers Endgame, Loki 
had the opportunity to snag the Tesseract and then leave 2012 because this scene is ripped right from the Avengers 2012 movie. So technically the present day Loki was killed by Thanos in Avengers Infinity War and now we have a past Loki which again caught the attention of the Time Variance Authority and basically have taken him into custody and now Loki has to pay the consequences. And now Loki has someone to deal with or at least you can say an entity, the Time Variance Authority, to deal with, and he promised to burn them down to the ground. So that's going to be really fun to watch. Can't wait to see it. A brief history about the Time Variance Authority. In the very distant future, the Time Variance Authority, or TVA, was formed with the goal of monitoring realities through the multiverse and attempting to keep temporal interference to a minimum. Although the TVA claims responsibility and authority over the entire Omniverse, they have continued territory disputes with Kang the Conqueror and his Kang Dynasty, Iliath, and Revelation, Congress of Realities, and the Dullerbrick Consortium. So that's pretty much it. As far as what comics this series might be borrowing from remains a bit unclear. Like the other films, Marvel Studios tends to borrow elements from all the comics and just try to make a cohesive story. For the most part, they take liberties with origins of the characters to either create a new one or adapt it on screen which I'm mostly okay with because Marvel Studios from time and time again have proven to take characters from the comics and basically adapt them on screen in a different way, kind of give them a different backstory just to make it a little bit more interesting for the general audience because a lot of the people from the general audience don't really read comics. Maybe they've read comics back in their childhood from time to time, but not consistently over the years. So basically Marvel Studios is going to take this character and of Justice Peace and the rest of the time variance authority and pretty much adapted you know the usual that's what marvel studio does they really don't take everything for verbatim from the comics but kind of give it a spin and it's kind of cool to see that they're integrating this team this entity the time variance authority and the character of justice peace so far from what i know they might be doing that hopefully owen wilson will play the part we'll have to see from there you let me know your thoughts if i had to pick from which comics the loki series will be borrowing from I'd say it would be a combination of the recent Loki series that ran back in 2019, Loki Agent of Asgard, and of course the Time Variance Authority stories. So far, there are only about five issues of Loki, but Loki is painted as a protagonist with great responsibilities, even though he's mostly an antagonist to the heroes we know. But from time to time, Loki would join forces with heroes just as long as it benefits him in the long run. It's a fun little miniseries. You should totally check it out. The new series was written by The Late Show with Stephen Colbert's Daniel Kibblesmith, who has penned a number of Marvel titles in recent years. Most recently, Black Panther vs. Deadpool, a bit of a fun run comic series, by the way, definitely check it out. The announcement of that comic book series came months after news broke out that the Marvel Studios would be making a solo Loki television series for the streaming series Disney+. Plus. This is far from the first solo series for Loki, by the way. The character starred in Loki Agent of Asgard, like I mentioned before, which ran for 17 issues starting in 2014. And before that, there had been two separate Loki miniseries, as well as the character's time as a protagonist of a critically acclaimed run of the stories in the Journey into Mystery series, written by Kieran Gillian from 2011 through 2012. So obviously there's a lot of backstory to be read, and I bet that the writers behind this series are willing to borrow elements from the comics like I mentioned. I'd love to see some flashbacks of which they can use from Journey into Mystery, which features Kid Loki, who's been reborn and is a protagonist of the series. All of this is just speculation, but it's fun because so much can be adapted from Marvel's back catalog. You all go ahead and let me know in the comments. What do you want to see in the Loki series? Do you think he'll go through a redemption arc? Will we see cameo appearances from other Marvel characters? Post your comments down below. I'd love to read them. Also, if you want to share this video and share some Loki Tom Hiddleston love, share this video throughout all of your social media platforms as much as you can. I really greatly appreciate it. Are you guys really excited for the new Loki series? I personally cannot wait for the series. While you wait for everything, click on my previous video so you don't miss the latest and stay tuned for upcoming live streams. Join my Discord and other social media platforms so you all can keep in touch. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next comic panel.